Hi, this is Sue, and I want to leave a quick video for anyone who's trying to leave a review in one of my shops or for any shop on Etsy. Um, it's very easy once you see it the first time, but sometimes it's hard to locate uh, when you haven't done it before. Um, so what you're going to do if you're on a laptop or a computer is sign into Etsy.com and um, find your account. This is your this is the opening page. Um, you're going to go over to where you have a picture or an icon and you're going to click the U button and you're going to go down to purchases and reviews. So these are going to be where you're going to find all your past purchases of physical products, digital products, instant downloads. They're all going to be here and they're here forever as long as you have your Etsy account. Uh, you can leave a review on Etsy up to 100 days after you um, have received the product or immediately for uh, the time starts immediately for an instant download or a digital product for a physical product it's after you get it delivered you have 100 days to leave a review um, when you order a digital product or an instant download usually you can review the item right away if you ordered a physical product like a mug um, and you got the mug say five days later, seven days later, there will be a timeline here that will tell you when you can review the mug. So this won't be available sometimes. I'm almost thinking it's seven to 10 days after you receive it, which I don't understand why it's so long, but um, you have to, it'll say sometimes, can you can review this item after like April 25th. So it'll give you an idea of when you can come back and, and leave a review for that product. For digital products, um, Unless it's being customized and then sent to you, there's sometimes a delay when you can do, when you can review that one. But an instant download, you can, as soon as you have downloaded the files to your desktop, then you can go ahead and leave a review. Uh, so that's really fast. Um, you can also edit a review anytime you want up to those 100 days. Um, I do want to caution you that if you are disappointed in something or something wasn't quite right, it's really great if you just try to contact the shop owner and work it out with them before you leave a review that isn't a five star. Um, it really affects the seller's shop. And um, if you if you leave the bad review and say, you know, I found this wrong and that wrong and I was disappointed and the seller reaches out to you and then you get everything fixed and you're super happy and there was great customer service and you want to go back and change your review, that's lovely for what shows in that seller shop, but Etsy keeps the first review. So they take stock on that first review. It doesn't matter that it was changed later. So it's a very serious thing. So um, if you do have any complaints at all, please try to reach out to the seller. Everybody's, you know, just this person at home who has a dream and has a small business and they really, they really want to do a good job for you. And if they've done something wrong or something hasn't gone right, they truly want to make it right uh, almost every single time. So please reach out first. Um, and then if you did have a great experience, if you had the time to leave a review, it's a huge, huge help for the sellers. It really promotes small business. Other people read reviews. They will have more confidence in that shop. Um, it shows us if some people leave pictures of how they've used the product or how it ha how the print looked on the wall or print looked at a party and uh, it excites other people and they feel like they could trust that shop. There is hundreds of thousands of shops on Etsy so the reviews and the pictures and the kind words that people leave really help uh, shop owners um, to to move ahead and it it matters to Etsy as well what reviews you get. So it's a lovely thing if you can leave a review. So um, having said that you're in here now, so I'm allowed, this is an instant download that I bought, so I can review this item right now. So I would always, you know, do the five stars, and then I can leave a description of why I was happy with it. Um, if I had interaction with the seller, if I got it very quickly, if it was a, a, a great quality product, um, any of those things you can write in here. Uh, you can also leave a picture. So, um, you would just click on here and it would open up to your desktop and so leave a photo of whatever your product or item is if you want to leave it put it on your desktop when you click on here you can pull it up and it will pop into right into that spot and then after you've written this you're just going to post your review um, if, if you buy um, 
three things from one shop, you can leave a review on each one, which is great. Now, the one time you can't leave a review, which confuses everybody, is that if, if a customer signs in as a guest, you cannot leave a review. I'm hoping in the future this will get changed, but as of right now, a customer cannot leave, that is signed in as a guest cannot leave a review. So that gets confusing as well. So that's unfortunate, actually. Um, um, what else can I tell you about that? So I think that's probably it. So you just go in there, you click on there, can leave a picture, can leave wording. When you're on the desktop or laptop, when you go in here, you'll see it says at least five words. You can't just leave the five stars and and post it. It won't it won't let you. So I'll show you right here. I'm clicking that. I'm not doing anything in there. I'm clicking post and see it won't let me leave that. So you need to do right a, uh, some sort of a something in there when you're on a laptop or a computer. But when you're on your phone or tablet, that the Etsy app will let you. Uh, just leave the five stars and not write anything if that's what you prefer to do. So I will show you how to do the phone and uh, tablet one as well. Um, so we'll get out of here. Cancel that. And I'll minimize this. So if you go into your Etsy app on your phone, which we all know is this lovely button, you go in there and... Uh, go uh, sign in if you need to sign in and once you're signed in you're going to see your icon or your face uh, up there here is down here is where you would look for your account and then purchases and reviews are right here and you're going to click this arrow here to go to the next screen so here we are with the um, same items that I just showed you so if I wanted to leave a review here I would uh, click on this button or here the next page that pops up is going to be um, this screen and everything's going to be grayed out but as soon as you tap on this fifth button it will all light up and then you will also have a spot that you can write in but it will not say leave five words it'll just be blank but you can definitely write in here and there will also be an area to upload a photo as well really easy from your phone actually if you take the picture with your phone then you can just click on that button where the uh, camera icon is and go through your photos and grab the picture. Uh, upload that, write your story, and then go up here and press submit. Um, and that's about it. It's pretty easy and uh, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.